Hello, everyone, and welcome to another FX Edge Power Hour. Today is March 27, 2013. How time flies. And we're going to do today what I have done for years, which is an analysis of the markets and evaluation of our strategies, which are based upon the 5 p.m. Eastern time close of our daily bars and our four-hour bars. Thereafter, we will have a brief questions and answer session. So let's go ahead and get started here. All right, so <clears throat> what are we going to be talking about today? Um, you know, we're going to start with the STP series, the Swing Trader Pro series, which is our marquee system. Over the long haul, it has done the best. And um, <clears throat> as, I should, as, as I should say, um, and, and many, I have many uh, clients who use this to manage their own money and also to manage other people's money. So the STP over the long haul is a very good strategy. We'll get into that. And let's talk about uh, the set, six currency pairs that we currently traded on. Euro, dollar, dollar, Swiss, pound, dollar, pound, yen, Aussie, dollar, euro, yen. And uh, then we're going to take a look at our four-hour trades and then finally finish up with our, <coughs> with our one-hour trade, which is the ATR sniper. All right, so where are we here? Um, basically, you know, this euro dollar, we had this beautiful reversal candle followed by a day of doji. And then we had a nice sell-off, actually. And it was actually what we like to call a straight through. There was no real play back and forth here. It was just kind of just dropped. So uh, from basically what I'm looking at here, we're back into our downtrend. We're out of the channel officially <coughs> that we had here. <coughs> I'll talk about that in a little bit. And uh, now that channel low is going to be our area of resistance, and we should expect um, price to be moving down here on the euro dollar going forward. Now that's great for us because we do have a euro dollar sell. We had a change from green to red that gave us a sell signal. First day it was a doji, so nothing really happened, no real net movement. But obviously today, uh, coming very very close to our take profit, uh, we almost, you know, finished this, got this trade to really uh, close out for us in profit. So the good thing about it is we're currently up on the euro dollar, and we can look forward to um, hopefully, you know, price continuing to move down here to the levels that we have seen previously. This is the 100% level, which is <clears throat> of the previous up move. And that's about 2650, 1.2650. Um, and so we're going to be waiting for, uh, you know, for price interaction at that area. And uh, then we'll go from there. So that's what's going on in the euro dollar. We are in a downtrend, <clears throat> officially back into it from our consolidation. Um, and so like I said, we're up 70 pips. You can see the trade here. Uh, entry at 128.51, stop loss I believe was just about 100 pips away, and uh, take profit is at 127.47, we actually got down to 127.50, so we're close to our take profit. Okay, and so that is the euro dollar. <clears throat> I'll continue my analysis of the euro dollar as we get into uh, the four hour, the FX Edge Quattro, I like that graph better to talk about. Uh, the direction of the of the euro US dollar I think it's uh, of the euro dollar I think it's much clearer dollar Swiss here is giving us an inverse correlation with the euro, euro dollar as we have seen for many years now and we have the big reversal candle by here bouncing off of the 50 EMA and followed by a same doji that we had seen on the euro dollar and now a very nice strong buy bar um, that has actually crossed through one of our areas of, of resistance previously, which was also support. So we can look forward to hopefully uh, this area of uh, this area, the support, this trend line here, to become support for us once again, and potentially see a move back up on the dollar Swiss. And that's where we're at as far as we're concerned. We still haven't truly broken out of the range here on the dollar Swiss. It's not truly out of a consolidation zone, if you will, but um, it does bode well for a movement forward as we have passed pass through uh, the, the trend line that was holding in this vicinity. <clears throat> so uh, with that, I'm, I'm believing also, also weighing heavily uh, in on this with the, with the euro dollar high correlation, inverse correlation that they have. Uh, we're more likely than not going to see a price move to the upside on the dollar Swiss and a continuation of the previous uptrend. All right, so dollar Swiss is currently 
Uh, just jumped into a trade, by the way. We had a change from red to green. Gets us into a buy trade. Entry 95.42. Stop loss at 94.70. Only 68 pips of, of uh, <clears throat> sorry, 72 pips of, uh, of, uh, of risk here on this trade. Um, and, uh, you know, we're going to be looking for a take profit at 96.35. And there you have it. So we're currently in the spread right now. We're going to wait for some continued movement um, here on this dollar Swiss. <clears throat> Pound dollar. Pound dollar <clears throat> is finally also giving us a sell. Uh, basically, this area was our, this is what we were looking for. We had a trend line uh, drawn to the upside, obviously to the downside as we've been in a downtrend. We saw a reversal candle. We also saw a doji thereafter, and then we had a sell-off. Uh, what's interesting here is that this trend line, which was once resistance, and has demarcated uh, really the the downtrend of this pound dollar. Um, has it actually was used as support here on this particular day? All right. So this trend line was at one point five zero eight one, and uh, price actually went to one point five zero nine one and uh, really just closed above that. So we should expect to see a move down further. Um, we're not asking a lot. It's actually not asking a lot for the pound dollar for us to hit our first take profit. Um, and it's basically 1.5127 is the entry. 1.5204 <clears throat> is our stop loss, and our take profit is at 1.5060. So it's looking for 67 pips here on the... Um, pound dollar take profit and that's it we had a change from green to red got us into a sell and uh, that's pretty pretty self-explanatory from there all right so the pound yen pound yen we do not have anything going on we're looking for a change from green from red to green here so we can get into a buy and as you can see here that 50 ma once again is holding very very well um, nothing's happened here until we get a break below this area which we very well may see uh, you know because both the pound, the pound is getting weaker. We have a sell signal on the pound, and we also have a euro yen, which is showing uh, considerable, considerable progress as far as the sell is concerned. Uh, we're probably going to see a strengthening of the yen, so eventually we may get a breakout of this pound yen. We just don't have it right now. All right, <clears throat> so it's kind of holding in this area, still in consolidation. There's not much else to say about it because there's nothing happening here. Very small range here, especially for the pound yen. We had uh, basically actually the range was not half bad. Uh, <clears throat> yesterday the range was about 107 pips. Today uh, the range is about 176 pips. Doesn't look like much here, but it's considerable. It's sizable actually. And it's bouncing between those two points that we considered support and resistance, the 50 MA and the upper area here at 1.43, right around 14400, <clears throat> 143.50, 143.70 is where we have the uh, resistance line at, and that's exactly where it stopped. All right, so we're going to be looking for some movement on that pound yen, but really it's just consolidation for the time being. Aussie dollar. Finally shows some variance here. Uh, we were, had this, this up move here, uh, and we had a very strong trend line, actually. It, you know, we had this reversal candle here at the bottom, and it was followed by 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, almost 17 trading days. It's so about three weeks of a move up here on the Aussie dollar, and then now it's just sold off. It's below that trend line that it's held so very well for almost the last month. And um, so we're going to be waiting to see what happens from here. But it looks like if this bar closes, we could have a change from green to red. Right now, it's too much, there's too much buy pressure. We would not get into this. But if there's a strong sell-off down here, we may have an Aussie dollar sell as well. Right now, we're flat as far as the Aussie dollar is concerned. Euro yen. This is interesting because I'm looking at this trend line that was, this was actually resistance. <clears throat> it was a negative force trend line for quite some time. It was became support for us here, here, 
in here. So the market is definitely using that um, area of that trend line as an area of support now, which is interesting. Um, so we drew it a long time ago because we were drawing this, this pennant here, this flag. And we did get a breakout, and it continues to be useful. But we are in a downtrend on the euro yen. We had a change from green to red that got us into a sell. That sell was held very nicely, <clears throat> up 415 pips. You can see here, this is the entry. Now we had a maximum favorable excursion of about 500 pips, and we're currently in the market, 415 pips. <laughs> Our stop is still moved to uh, break even. <clears throat> We're going to be looking for a few more days of, of, of hopefully move down descent. That will give us a nice uh, buffer for our stop loss on the euro yen. And that sums that up. Currently up 414 pips. You can see it right here. All right, let's take a look at our four-hour trades really quickly. So we have an IBO. We've been in this IBO, had a 12 bar trailing stop, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And basically we got into this trade, it was big, it was a huge one, about 100 pips of risk. Price comes up within 50 pips of our stop loss, which is at break even. Moves straight down, 200 pip, 200 pip maximum favorable excursion. And we're currently still in the market with about 170 pips on this IBO sell. So IBO is doing okay, up 170 pips there, and um, basically all this becomes moot as we uh, we just simply don't have a trade because we're already in a trade. Okay, so very nice, 170 pips, 198 pip maximum favorable excursion on the IBO. All right, next. The IBO Rev Candles. So IBO Rev Candle essentially is looking for a three bar IBO. Set my template here. All right, so we had a three bar IBO here, followed by a reversal candle. Okay, and this one actually broke to the low. This is bar two, and this is bar three. Now, bar three gives us a, a valid IBO rev. So if we have a break of 127.88, we're going to be looking for a buy. Now, I wouldn't hold that buy for too long. If it does take, if I were you, I'd actually take my, let it take the trade, and I would actually set my second position also to take profit in the same place because we are in a downtrend. Um, we may have a retracement, but that retracement is most likely going to be short-lived, and we could very well have a continuation to the downside. So we may have enough juice to get you to, a, to your first take profit on this, on this IB on this IBO rev, uh, but um, you know you might as well take your second position profit here for the time being. Thirty seven pips of risk, and we're, so basically we're looking for forty pips. We're looking for one twenty eight twenty eight. <clears throat> okay, so let's take a turn our uh, attention to the FX Edge Quattro. FX Edge Quattro has been an interesting one. Because uh, we basically got into a sell here. We had a change from green to red, got us into a sell all the way up here. Uh, we basically held this sell. Okay, so we got into a sell roughly at 128, sorry, 129.39, and we've seen price move all the way down for 187 pips of profit, 190 pips of profit, and we're, we would still be in here at 162 pips. Now, 
all these green bars are invalidated until we get right here. So this change from red to green is what gives us a buy signal. And just barely. So it really depends on <clears throat> who you are. But this uh, change from red to green definitely gives you a buy signal. Um, or when I say who you are, meaning you know what your feed is, what your broker's feed is. Because uh, it was very, very close, within 0 0.2 for us to take this buy. Um, not my favorite direction to take a trade in right now, actually. But if it's a small position, you can most likely, we can see a test up here of this trend line and maybe get to the first take profit. Not the most high, high probability trade for the time being. Um, I mean, I, I, I think we're due for a retracement. And we could actually see a widening of this channel here as the market pushes back up, perhaps, um, here. And that's just a, that's an outside thing. But we have a close below the trend line, and that is, uh, you know, we're more, more likely than not when we have a price pass through a trend line um, or area of support resistance, it, when it was once support, it now becomes resistance, and that's what we have to expect looking on here. Um, I think we could see a move up. 35, 40 pips, and then a continuation to the downside on the FX Edge Quattro, on the euro dollar here. All right, let's turn our attention to some other stuff. We're looking for a sell trade. Looks like we have a sell lining up here on the triple threat 3X, and so we're going to wait for it and see when it manifests. And that's all we got. Um, as far as the ATR sniper is concerned, Actually, we are in a trade. We got into a sell. Thirty pips of risk here. <clears throat> and we've gone down forty seven pips. And you can see here that we are not quite at our take profit here, uh, but we're going to be looking for um, you know maybe after the retracement for price to continue to move down <clears throat> for us to hit our first take profit. We're currently up 20 pips on this ATR sniper. All right, having said that, let me take some questions. Okay, my ATR sniper did not take, and you have FXDD, Dana? I probably ask you that all the time. It's the number one question we ask in troubleshooting. If we don't have the same trades, we should all have the same trades. Change from green to red. Yep, there's a big enough gap there. It's not even close as far as uh, any of the other criteria are concerned. It should be a sell. All right, guys, I've kind of updated the um, <clears throat> ATR Sniper just uh, just a little bit here. Uh, so you will notice that uh, the first take profit, we, we missed this one. <clears throat> but you're going to notice that the ATR Sniper uh, is slightly different. Okay. You have two cells. And this cell.
goes down 47 pips, 20 pips. Actually, I'm surprised that the ATR sniper did not take profit already on this trade. Should have taken profit in here. Looks like it's set to 127.35. And we had a low at 127.50. Stop loss is at 128.29. So that means about 30 pips. <clears throat> 30 pips of risk. This is slightly different than what I would expect. Okay, guys, so um, that's where we're at. We're about 20 pips up on the euro dollar, um, and I just kind of just took my ATR sniper and replaced it on my, on my chart here, and that was just for the purpose of refreshing it. How do we get 104B? You should have 104B. I put 104B out, um, I don't know, two or three weeks ago. The version that you guys have is the version that I have. That's what this platform is all about. You, this platform is exactly as you have it. We should all have the same wins, losses, etc. <laughs> Good. Your sniper should look like mine. Your STP-5 <clears throat> is where the issue is. Then go to, to the website, download version 104B. should be there. Bond, I sent you a message on Skype. Take a look at it. Get back to me. Whenever you can. Yeah, guys, the new version's on the website. Just download it, click, you know, install, and it will install it for you. 
104B. All right, guys, with that, I'm going to get out of here. I'll be back here tomorrow. We'll wrap this thing up um, here Monday through Thursday, every Monday through Thursday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look forward to seeing you. Hopefully, we'll continue to see movement down, and that will uh, help to, you know, get us get us uh, in the right position to make some of the profits that we've come to be used to, that we had, like, for instance, last year, a 200% return. All right, guys, with that, I'll talk to you later. All the best. Bye-bye. Happy trading.